Let's go to Susumo Kato, Managing Director and Chief Economist at Credit Agricole, CIB and CLSA. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. So was this the right move, no move by the BOJ? Well, uh, I, it's widely uh, expected that the Bank of Japan hold policy and also they maintain the uh, asset purchase program as it is now. So Bank of Japan has been a lot uh, optimistic for the uh, Japanese economy and the state of the deflation. But uh, I guess the uh, Q4 uh, this quarter uh, growth will be maybe possibly negative. And then uh, afterwards, the Bank of Japan will uh, consider uh, some policy measures. Now, the asset purchase program that it announced back in October, is that working? Because we have seen Japanese bond yields actually rise. Uh, well, uh, asset purchase program uh, consists of the uh, purchase of JGBs and short-term securities, as well as the, uh, some covered bonds and the CPs, ETFs and JREs. I guess the uh, Bank of Japan is uh, conducting macro uh, prudential policy rather than uh, conventional monetary policy uh, because the uh, Japanese banking industry wouldn't like to take any kind of credit risks uh, so that uh, Bank of Japan is uh, taking uh, credit risk on behalf of uh, a private uh, banking uh, industry which could narrow the credit spread and also they uh, have which made uh, some positive influence on the JDIT and also some uh, ETF purchase made uh, some uh, positive influence on the equity market as well. Now you refer to Japan's economy which is about to slow down again this quarter. What can be done here? I mean you say the BOJ may take more action if so when and also is there any prospect of more government stimulus here? Uh, I guess the uh, uh, in, in Japanese economy in the short term uh, business cycle uh, has been fluctuating on the back of uh, volatility in the foreign exchange market. Uh, Japanese yen gets stronger against euro and US dollar which made uh, some fluctuation in a business cycle and production cycle as well. However, uh, monetary policy can do only little uh, because the Bank of Japan already lowered overnight policy interest rate as uh, it is now, 0 to 0.1 percent. And it's now the, uh, the matter of the, uh, to recover the confidence. And I would expect uh, it's uh, within a, a maybe a fluctuation in a short-term business cycle. And Japanese economy will uh, return to the growth track maybe sometime Q2 uh, next year. Okay, Susumo Kato from Credit Agricole, we thank you very much for joining us.